storm into the airplane. Into the... What's your name? Lali. I think that has never happened to me in my entire life that I have a lounge all to myself. And the Beamer and Bangladesh headphones. I can tell that it was still frozen like half an hour ago. Is it good? Good, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm gonna try it. So, hello and welcome from Dhaka, the capital of Bangladesh. And you're probably asking yourself, what am I doing here? But I'm going to review Beeman Bangladesh 787 Dreamliner, uh, which is just a month old, and I'm going to introduce it to you. It's, uh, it's a very exciting product. It's something you probably don't get to fly very often. At the moment, they're testing it between Dhaka and Kuala Lumpur. And then later they will use it on their flights between Dhaka and London. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go inside the airport. I think it needs a little bit of renovation. Um, it has seen better days, I'd say. However, I had a great time in Bangladesh. Everybody was like super nice. And uh, now I'm gonna go check in, uh, drop my luggage and then, uh, I'm going to introduce their lounge to you as well. They apparently have a lounge here at Dhaka International Airport, so I have no idea what to expect. Uh, but I've seen a few snaps of um, Beeman's business class, and it looks pretty good. So I think this is going to be a very exciting flight, probably the most anticipated of the year, and I can't wait to introduce it to you. So let's go and find out what Beeman Bangladesh is all about. So right now I'm at the check-in counter for my Beeman 787 uh, business class flight to Malaysia. Maruf is actually very helpful trying to get me a window seat. So much appreciated. Baggage tag. Thank you sir. Have Beautiful. A nice and safe trip. I will. I will. Thank you so much, Maruf. Much appreciated. Cool. So if you travel on business class with Beeman Bangladesh, you of course get lounge access. So let's go there and let's find out what the lounge is all about. Hi guys, how are you? Thank you, thank you. So right now I'm at Beeman Bangladesh Lounge, it's called the Maslan, Maslan Lounge. And the first thing I've noticed is that I'm the only one here. So I think that has never happened to me in my entire life that I have a lounge all to myself. Then uh, some pineapple juice, apple juice, you even, you even got a coffee machine, I don't know whether you have to do it yourself. Um, and then we continue, a little buffet, get some donuts there, all sorts of tea, um, what else, we have some more cakes, so mixed Chinese vegetables, beef, and more chicken. All nice and hot and then we have some fried chicken, chicken kofta and plain rice. Doesn't look too bad. Some Thai soup if you want. Sandwiches, a salad bar. So Beeman Bangladesh lounge has everything, right? <laughs> so I'm still having the entire lounge to myself. I try a little bit. They said it's very spicy. Um, but um, it's looking all right, you know. So let's see. Let's see what it tastes like. Mm. It's actually pretty dry. Um, some sauce wouldn't be too bad, but it's okay. It seems like the food has been sitting there for some time. So the Be My Lounge here is also home to a few lounges where you have your very own barista. <laughs> That's great. Thank you very much. I'm sure it's going to taste nice as well. Something I noticed about the pizzoirs here in uh, Bangladesh is you can give your willy a nice wash right after using it. How nice is that?
So there she is, just arrived from Singapore, having a little makeover, and then we are flying to KL Malaysia. Four hours on this 787-8. So I'm currently on board um, the 787 Dreamliner of Beam in Bangladesh. The cabin is very identical to what Lufthansa offers in business class. And keep in mind that Lufthansa is a five-star airline and Beam in Bangladesh is only considered a three-star airline. So, so far everything looks really fresh, really nice. Um, we've got also those beautiful branded Beam in Bangladesh headphones. Um, however, the boarding was a complete mess people just storming onto the airplane, so with no real announcements or anything like this. Um, however, the seat looks pretty cool. I like it so far, my first impression. It's the only drain liner that they have at the moment. Um, they get another one uh, by the end of the uh, next month, I think, or the end of the year. But so far, it looks pretty cool. Also, so far, it looks like that the business class cabin is completely empty. So, as you can see, there is no one else in the cabin so far. I also have no seat neighbor, which is good. I hope it's going to stay this way. And, uh, yeah, let's see. We're probably not leaving on time. We were supposed to leave uh, five minutes ago, but who cares? I don't mind spending some more time in here. Um, but let me give you a little tour of the seat, the brand new seat, which is only like, I mean, this airplane now has only been in service for like a month. And as you can see, we start, you have a bit of storage space right here. Um, got a power outlet, uh, the headphone jack, a USB slot, a bottle of water. And this is, this, those are your seat controls. And you've got a reading light here as well, as well as the remote control. And look at this, it has its very own screen. How amazing is that? That's pretty cool. I really like that. And then there is one really cool thing. Uh, probably wonder where the table is stored. Um, this is it, it's right here. And you can use that table also as a divider for more privacy. And if you want to eat, that's just how it works. Pull it out. There we go. You can move it around. It's pretty cool. And then, if you don't need it anymore, if you don't need it anymore, you just put it away. So the crew is actually giving me weird looks because I think they don't have YouTubers on board uh, that often. But nobody is telling me not to film or anything like this. So the crew is actually pretty nice. And this is the in-flight entertainment. The screen right in front of you. It looks pretty cool. Nice quality. Um, storage space right here at the footrest. You got the uh, in flight magazine and safety cart right there. And the highlight are probably those amazing branded um, headphones. How cool are they? We'll try whether they're noise cancelling, but I already love them. Look at them. Awesome. Yeah. And 
As you can see, I have no seat neighbor so far, which is which is pretty nice. I enjoy that. I like that. And uh, yeah, on top we've got a pillow and a blanket. So it's a pretty decent product considering that um, a few years ago, like five years ago, they were still operating um, a DC-10. A Beeman, actually, a Beeman Bangladesh was actually the last airline to operate a DC-10, on like a passenger DC-10, which was then retired, I think, in 2012, or 2000, 2012, 2014, something like that. But yeah, Beeman was actually the last one to retire the passenger DC-10. just received a hot towel and it's actually really hot and pretty nice. Boarding is completed. They offered some newspapers and they gave out nuts and uh, pre-boarding drinks. Um, I still don't know whether they serve alcohol here but I don't think so because the only choice we had was a mango juice, orange juice and apple juice. Um, however, I'm quite lucky, there's nobody sitting next to me and I'm sure this is going to be a great flight. Can't wait to, uh, to see the menu and uh, see what the, ca what the catering is like. So before takeoff, the crew would hand out the menus and there was a lot of choice, a lot of local choice actually, so they didn't really have any Western food. However, I didn't mind, but just keep in mind that most of their food is actually very spicy. So then I also had some time to check out the entertainment system of Beam in Bangladesh. And while you have a lot of local movie choices and Indian movies, uh, the choices of international movies was very, very limited. However, I was probably expecting that. Um, also a nice thing is that Beam in Bangladesh offers internet on their 787 Dreamliner. I couldn't connect for some reason, um, but uh, the option is definitely available, starting from $8. Actually, an hour, maybe a little bit more than an hour into the flight, and um, I just received um, the starter. And as you can see, it's all like still wrapped in the foil, so <laughs> haven't seen that ever before. And it's really cold. The plate is like you can tell it comes right out of the fridge. Um, but let's find out what that is. Yeah, pretty nice. Um, but. I can't, I can't really identify the meat. Um, it looks like, I'd say it's chicken or prawn. Is it a prawn? Might be a prawn. We'll find out in a second. It's, it's a prawn. It's very tender. It's very tender. I can't literally tell what it is, but I can tell that it was still frozen like half an hour ago. It tastes like a prawn. I have no idea what it is. It's prawn, yeah, I think so. Is it good? Good, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm gonna try it. It smells very, is it spicy? A little bit. 
Okay, I, I can do a little bit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, put it on there. Okay, very good. Thank you. So yeah, like when I removed the foil, like I was literally hit by a cloud of like spice. One thing is for sure, if there's an airline to be rewarded for the best tableware, uh, it would definitely be Bima in Bangladesh. You can still see the branding here. Yeah, I love it. It's pretty cool. It's very nice. Also, look at those beautiful um, salt shakers here. It's just nice. Something I also noticed on the on the menu is they don't have they don't offer any Western choices. Um, so there's no Western food literally. It was all local food, um, fish, mutton, um, and uh, I think there was some Thai dish as well. Um, and there's one very important thing when flying Biman Bangladesh is it's like it's a dry airline so which means uh, they don't serve alcohol you remember earlier this year when I flew on Saudi as 777 and the Airbus 320 it's exactly the same so we won't get any alcohol on board so the meal service is finished um, the food was all right it was a bit spicy for me but I liked it um, the crew actually is pretty nice. I mean, they're a little bit uh, curious and they don't know really how to react um, to somebody filming on a flight, but um, they don't say anything. There's, it's not like that they say, oh, you can't film or what are you doing? Um, but uh, they're not overly friendly, but they're very curious as well because I'm the only, literally I'm the only white guy on this flight, the only foreigners. So everybody's here on this entire plane, they're all locals. They have they have been going to a renewal of their fleet. So they used to fly, as I said, like until like 2014, they were still flying a DC-10, like the last remaining passenger DC-10 in service, uh, which then retired from, uh, uh, on their flight from Dhaka to Kuwait and then uh, to Birmingham. And then for a week, they would do like uh, just, um, scenic flights on the DC-10 for like aviation geeks so which is a, was a pretty cool event and then they retired the DC-10 so and as you can see the seat also goes completely flat offers still a lot of privacy um, it's spacious it's comfortable the blanket was all right maybe they offer a, a different blanket on their london dakar service once this airplane is flying on that specific route um, however i'm sure if it's a longer flight you will have a decent sleeping experience So what is the most unique airline you've ever flown? So when I think about very special airlines I've flown, then I can think always of Safi Airways. I flew Safi Airways from uh, Dubai to Kabul. Uh, that was very unique. I don't even think they exist anymore. I think Safi Airways, they um, suspended all flights. I think they went bankrupt or something like that. I'm not sure, but I think I've heard something. I don't know, what's what's the most unique air, airline you've been on? Let me know in the comment section below, I really want to know. So the most famous tea in Bangladesh is green tea, right? <laughs> so I'm having a bit of a tea tasting right now. What's your favorite tea? <laughs> green tea. Green tea? Yeah. And as usual giving you a little tour of the business class bathroom and the only additional amenity here was the mop um, god knows what it's used for and uh, of course you have all the standard um, soap and uh, cologne amenities and uh, the bathroom was actually very clean and uh, as you would probably expect from a brand new airplane
But now let me sum up my experience with Biman Bangladesh and I had an absolute pleasant flight. The seat is great, the crew was lovely and I'm definitely going to fly them again. But I think the achievement that we need to honor the most is the amazing renewal Biman Bangladesh went through in the past five years. Getting in all those new airplanes, the 777s and now the 787 which is one of the most modern airplanes in the sky and I think that says a lot about Biman Bangladesh and I think also the people of Bangladesh can be proud of those achievements and it's been a beautiful country I had such a great time and I encourage you as well to visit the beautiful country of thank Bangladesh you, eh? thank you so much for watching if you liked this video you think it was helpful give it a like share it and leave a comment and let me know what you thank think you, of Biman Bangladesh thank you so much for watching guys